we rely on one another for certain services. Whether it's doctors, whether it's farmers, whether it's grocers, whether it's attorneys, whether it's teachers, we all interact. We don't say, God, do everything for me. Dr. Churik, tonight you're diagnosed with cancer. If you could, if you could choose prayer or modern medical science, which would you rather have? Yes. You can only choose one. No, you can have prayer or you can choose science. You only have one. Would you rather have those doctors treat you with chemotherapy or would you rather have a team of priests treat you with prayer? You can only have one. Who said I can only have one? My question presumes you can only have one. <laughs> it's a false question. I can have both. I should have both because are you suggesting that, that um, God can't work through doctors or are you, are you saying that? What are, what are you trying to get at? Professor Turk, I'm, I'm, my implication is that if you wouldn't immediately jump to the chance to say, I would only rather have prayer that displays nothing other than a lack of faith, you should be more than happy to say, I don't give a, I don't, I don't care about modern medical science or anything other than, no, I, I, the, the I, other, I, I, other, I, other, other than God will, God will heal me and God will take care of me only through the power of prayer. And, and I'm confident since you, since you are a devout and a serious Christian, and I respect you for that, and as should everyone here, you're going to tell everyone here, forget science. We don't care about any of it. God will take care of us no, no, as long yeah, as we I, pray I to him. I have wrong theology because I, I need, before I need medical care, I need food. And I rely on farmers that make corn here in Cornhusker land. I'm not growing my own corn, okay? I don't have time to do that. I rely on them. I'm not going to sit around and say, God, give me some corn. You've already told us God is timeless. So time is time is nothing. We're wait, we're waiting for your prayer. I'm not following you, Cody. What, what, are, you, what are you suggesting? We, we live in the world where we have a community and God has put us in this community and we rely on one another for certain services, whether it's doctors, whether it's farmers, whether it's grocers, whether it's attorneys, whether it's teachers. We all interact. We don't say, God, do everything for me. In fact, Jesus was, was tempted by Satan, remember? Throw yourself down, and uh, God will save you. And Jesus knew, of course, that Satan was taking that verse out of context, and he said, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. God, so, 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 God, so God doesn't answer your prayers directly. We'll move on to the next question. No, Thanks, no, no, Doc. No, Cody, uh, Cody, Cody, no, we won't. We're going to go to the next lady, and you can get in the back of the line because it's one at a time, because otherwise you, you could be up there for half an hour. We don't have half an hour. Thank you. But I'm happy to Thank stay. I'm happy to stay afterwards and talk to you as long as you want. I would love okay? that. Thank you, Dr. Shirek. All right. Thank, thank you. you.